I grew up in a small town in Oklahoma. My mother and dad both had a good work ethic. It was a family where you helped people. My grandmother, she always gave. Uh, didn't have a lot, but she always gave. Well, Oklahoma born and grown people are, uh, you know, are kind of a different breed. And, and so when Boone and I met being from Oklahoma, that was a common bond that made us friends about 30 years ago. And uh, operating on a friend, there's a little bit more stress, but when Boone's cataract developed, I felt very comfortable in removing it. It was 100% trust uh, from the outset. But my father, he was legally blind by the time he was 85. And so later, when I got the macular diagnosis, I thought, well, I'm gonna go the same uh, track as my father, probably. Boone was having increasing difficulty with some of his reading, some of his distance vision. And it became apparent that this was due to an earlier stage of macular degeneration which was the leading cause of blindness in the United States as recently as 10 years ago. You know, when I have a problem, I find the best, and that was Wilbur. Of course, it's part of Johns Hopkins, best school, best uh, hospital, and this is where I decided to create a professorship. It's really a great honor when I'm introduced before a big audience as the Boone Pickens Professor of Ophthalmology. And for that moment, uh, I think of Boone. He's uh, not only one of the most successful businessmen and entrepreneurs in the United States, he's one of the greatest philanthropists. And he also helped fund the Smith Building. I called and told him that we were short $6 million and uh, would he be interested and we would name the atrium after him. But the next day, a check for $6 million arrived. And at that same time, the president of Johns Hopkins called me and said, is this a pledge? And I said, we've got the check. It's not only a beautiful space, but because of the openness and the legiality of the people, it's a great place for research to develop innovations and new forms of therapy. In fact, a major breakthrough a little more than five years ago uh, showed us that you could inject anti-growth factors into the middle cavity of the eye in people with macular degeneration and in many cases stop the ingrowth of blood vessels and scar tissue that would have otherwise caused the person to go blind. And at the Wilmer Eye Institute, about 90% of the blindness has been eliminated by having these anti-growth factor medications my eyesight today is 2040. I'm doing pretty good. You know, you play the hand you're dealt. You don't, uh, you don't throw it in. Now, one of the unexpected pleasures of this new treatment, which often requires monthly monitoring, is you really get to know the patients. Boone is a, a gentleman uh, beyond uh, reproach, and he's working just as hard now as he did when he was first trying to go into business and energy. Now, Wilmer's done a good job for me and I wanted to respond to that. So I've left $20 million uh, in a testamentary gift. What this gift will do is allow us to scour the globe, not just the United States, find the best and brightest young minds, bring them here as boot pick and scholars, invest in them the resources that will allow them to explore the brilliant idea that if it pans out, is going to be a game changer. As part of the next generation, we're very enthusiastic about how we can change the landscape of ophthalmology. My research interest is how we can use technology to improve the way we teach surgery. And had I not had the support of being a faculty scholar, I would not be able to devote the time needed to help get my research off the ground getting funding for very, very novel and innovative research has always been very difficult. Now, with the cutbacks in federal funding, gifts like that of Boone Pickens are really essential for us to move forward impactful research that otherwise is not gonna get funded. Like with macular degeneration. We've come a long way, but we often say we still have a long way to go. 
for example. Right now, we're creating a biodegradable plastic that degrades into a drug that affects a target that is the master regulator of the new blood vessel growth that ends up causing the disease. So with this, we think we can limit the number of injections you would need, and then in the future, we'd like people to be able to wake up in the morning and take a pill, kind of like a vitamin pill, uh, but they would have drugs that would be targeted from their GI tract and end up specifically in the back of the eye. Also, the methodologies that we're using to treat macular degeneration are very applicable for most diseases, like cystic fibrosis, lung cancer, cervical cancer, asthma. So the gift from Mr. Pickens will have a major impact on human health in other ways besides just vision. Boom Pickens is known as a real maverick, someone who has made bold moves to achieve large success. And so too is Hopkins known as an institution that undertakes innovative research to tackle some of society's most daunting challenges. And Boone Pickens is a person who lives life to the full and he needs all the vision he can get. Boone is a, is a winner and he wants to work with winners and we're just pleased that he's associated with us. A lot of the research that led to these anti-growth factor treatments were supported by ideas that came from philanthropy from other people. Now someone like Boone recognizes that. By his providing support as well, maybe his children, his grandchildren, uh, people he doesn't know uh, that are from around the world uh, will really be able to benefit with health and medical research, I can reach more people for a longer period of time. And the leadership is here at Wilmer to accomplish all the things that I hope they're able to do with the money I leave. And I like that, it makes me feel good.